How's it going guys? Artemox here and today I'm bringing you something different. I'm gonna bring you a guide in terms of power curve because a lot of players have been asking me like what is the power curve? What, what is the curve that you talk about so much? Well, the curve of power or the power curve, uh, uh, it's basically the amount of power that you're getting through the game. And this is very important, especially for lower elos, because in lower elos, players tend to get, oh, I'm getting 10 CS per minute, I'm getting 100 CS at 10 minutes, but then at the 20 minute mark, they have the same 100, 110, 120, because there's so much fighting. And the power curve is a very interesting concept, because this will allow you to keep going up, 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 up in terms of power, so that you can actually start snowballing the game. Obviously, um, the... The decision making is going to be really important because that's why dying is not good. When you die, you're going to spend a lot of time playing uh, dead, sorry, and then not pressuring the map, not farming. And while you're not doing any of that, the enemy team is doing it, so they're actually making a comeback. So to further understand this, let's just put it a simple concept, right? You know, you, let's just say that you have a in 10 minutes, right? Let's just say that in 10 minutes, uh, you are able to get to zero with 50 CS in the jungle, right? But then there's this guy who is able to get 3-0 with 100 CS. Obviously, this, this guy is way better because uh, at the end of the day, uh, he's gonna get double the CS, he's gonna get even one more kill. And obviously, there's so many more things to this. Obviously, uh, minimum awareness, lane awareness and efficiency with your time because you know he's not hesitating on a bush or something. He's just straight up uh, confident on whatever he is doing. So that he's able to get that and then after that you, at the 15 minute mark you should be able to get maybe 130 in the jungle 140 uh and then on the 20 minute mark you can go ahead and get 150 170 right because since you're the jungler you're supposed to be like basically everywhere but as a laner it's way easier because all you have to do is technically go to a lane because in the mid game uh, the job of jungler is actually to allow your teammates to basically uh, extend their lead if they have one. Obviously, in solo kill lower elo, this is not the case, but in higher elo, this is how it tends to be. So, right here, as you can see, it's not this, uh, you know, with this in mind, it's not the same thing having, let's just say, Eclipse or getting whatever first item you're getting, Kraken Slayer or something. It's not the same thing getting it at 7 minutes than getting it at 10 minutes, right? Because if you get it at 7 minutes, you're way too early, you're going to be massively strong. But then if you're getting it 20, if you're getting it at 10 minutes, then okay, it's kind of average. Uh, that's basically around the time that everybody gets uh, their first item. And then if you start getting it at 12, 13 minutes, then it's kind of late. So that means that you're kind of behind. So with this in mind, this is where the power curve co comes in. The power curve is basically just, hello. I, no. Sorry, just leaving that beautiful zins out there. <laughs> So yeah, the power curve is basically the amount of power that you can get. Obviously, this reaches a cap, and at the end of the day, then it just goes down, 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 down. Why is this? Because, well, let me just straight this up. Oh my god. Okay. So, this is gold, and this is time. So, the more gold you get, it's going to get to a point where the gold that you're going to be getting... Is, is basically useless because at the end of the day you're able to reach level 18 with six items right you, you cannot grow higher than that so after six items they're it's basically useless you're gonna be pushing just for pressure so the amount of power that you get let's just say that you got level 18 uh, and six items uh, at 20 minutes right which is crazy obviously it's it's I would say it's doable but it's not as easy as it looks but let's just say that you got it at 20 minutes at 20 minutes, people used to be, uh, people tend to be around level 12 to 13, and then they they should be having around two and a half items to three. So if you reach this point in the game, when everybody is at this point in the game, you're basically just going to be massive, and that's kind of the thing. This is why the power curve is so important. Understanding this power curve is what's gonna allow you to start snowballing the game because people tend to be like, oh my god, I'm three and zero at 10 minutes and I'm actually super strong, but then you see their CS and then they're 20 CS. And yeah, you could say that you're three zero, okay, perfect, but then you're still 20 CS. And at the end of the day, if you face, let's say, for example, me, uh, I would be, let's just say one zero, and then I would be at 80 CS, let's say, who do you think is way ahead? Because if we count, that every kill is going to be 300 gold, this is going to be 900 gold 
plus 300 gold per 10 is going to be 600 gold you're gonna have 1.5k gold but if you calculate mine of cs only i'm gonna be able to have 2.4 plus the kill is 2.7 okay so if you compare 1.5 versus 2.7 that's where the difference comes in. This is where the power curve starts making an impact because once you back, let's just say that we're building the same items, let's just say that we're gonna go to Eclipse, um, you're gonna be able to get Serrated Dirk and a Longsword, and I'm gonna be able to get Serrated Dirk, Double uh, Longsword, Vampire Acceptor, 900, 200, 200, and then maybe even Boots. So at the end of the day, oh my God, Harold, please. Get away from me. So yeah, if you get those type of things, you are obviously gonna be ahead in terms of item. Obviously, this is not the only thing. Uh, experience plays a really big part in the game too because even one level of a difference can make huge impact. And I don't really know the numbers yet. I gotta, you know, uh, check out a little bit. But then let's just say that you're level 10 and that the enemy player that you're facing is level 11. You really need to be careful because depending on the, the type of champion that you're playing, um, this could mean a 10% damage in re uh, reduction, even if you have better items or even 20% at some point. And this could go even higher in terms of the levels. If you're fighting at a level 10, someone that is level 12, then you're gonna be in really big trouble because you know this reduction in power plus the base, uh, base stats that they're getting per level is gonna be way, way too much for you. So experience is also something that you have to be aware of and obviously solo XP and solo killing. It's going to be the best way to get the XP. Obviously, if you go into a side lane, if you're gonna go, because when people tend to Aram, they, they don't know that they're sharing the XP between four people. And then, you know, these people are gonna have the XP divided by four. I don't really know if it's actually the XP divided by four, but I'm just making into account that they're getting less XP than, for example, the one who is in solo lanes is gonna be getting the full HP, and he's gonna be getting four more, uh, four times more XP than these people that are actually grouping, and even worse if they die, right? Because if they die, they won't be able to get any XP or anything. So at the end of the day, it's gonna be really rough on them. So you gotta, gotta be careful. So. Uh, a few tips I can give you to grow your power curves, obviously. Uh, be careful, be aware of dying. Uh, because dying is the way, the best way to waste your time in league. If you die, it's gonna take you, let's just say, 20 seconds death timer plus 20 seconds to go back on the map, and this is already 40 seconds that you've already wasted. Let's just say that in 10 minutes you've died three times, this is almost three minutes, which basically equates to 30% of your time not doing anything. And then if you're playing with 30% of the power that you could be having without it, like without the 30% of the power that you could be having, you know, it's gonna be really rough for you. So uh, be aware of dying, obviously. Uh, pick your fights, pick your fights. People tend to under, people tend to like think that they have to contest everything, especially when they're behind. When they're behind, for, for some reason, lower elo players, they tend to like contest everything. Oh, the enemy jung uh, jungler is doing dragon. We need to contest it. We need to contest it. Obviously, sometimes it's okay to do it, but 95% of the time it's not. And this will make you waste time because you're gonna watch them do the, their objective that you cannot contest, so you're gonna be wasting time. So why, while you're picking your fight, you know, okay, I cannot fight that. I'm just gonna go ahead while there, everyone is in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this solo XP so that I can start growing and coming back into the game. So pick your fights better. And instead of actually grouping on the mid lane and then grouping on itself, just straight up, you know, decide what, I, what actually is, uh, is happening on the map. See if you can actually make a fight and then just straight up go ahead and, and, um, and keep CSing because trust me, yeah, it's fine when you're, oops, it's fine when you're able to get 100 CS at 10, but then if you get the same 110 at 20, it's not gonna be good for you. You need to be able to get 10, 100 at 10, 200 at 20, and then 330 so that you can keep up with the curve. So you gotta be careful on that. So, and then the last tip, Obviously, efficiency, uh, fill in those little gaps, fill 
the empty gaps during, especially during mid game, guys. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, the curve they always go up, 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 up in the in the laning phase, but then it just stalls out in the mid game because since everybody's just straight up fighting, 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 uh, people don't know how to be efficient and farm while uh, while so many fights are going on. People don't tend to balance out farming and fighting. So you know, filling the empty gaps. You know, if everybody's back and there's nothing you can do, you know, just farm your camps, farm lanes that are gonna be uh, the minions are gonna be getting killed by the tower. And you know, filling these gaps, it's what actually will, uh, with, with, blah, blah, blah. it's what actually will help you make, uh, you know, those 10 CS per minute throughout the whole game happen. So yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, uh, and then let me know in the comments if you find this useful. If you want me to go more in depth on this, and yeah, as always, stay healthy, drink lots of water, and have fun in the rift, guys. See you in the next video.